Once upon a time, there was a man named Joseph Paxton, who was a gardener in the 1800s and the first person in England to grow the giant water lily plant. Now, the giant water lily is the biggest flowering plant in the world and can grow up to eight feet in diameter. It has a special cross ribbed structure that gives it a rigid form, and this made Joseph wonder how strong it really was. So he put his child on it, and it still floated, but he didn't stop there. He somehow found other people's children and loaded them onto the lily pad too and discovered it could support a whopping five kids. So when he realized just how strong it was, he wondered what if this structure could be applied to other things. He used the same structure to create experimental greenhouses, and then he made this the Crystal Palace, a gigantic cast iron and glass building in London for the Great Exhibition of 1851. I like this story a lot because I aspire to have the openness of mind where the strength of a leaf can lead you to reimagine the way we build our buildings. It's because he was curious and he tried things out and he kept an open mind. And because of that attitude, Joseph the gardener also became Joseph the architect, which makes me think about the idea of disciplines. We can make disciplines as small or as big as we like. Disciplines are just one way to categorize fields of study and interest. There are many spaces between traditional disciplines, and no one says you can't go outside of the lines. So it seems only natural that we make our own disciplines out of the bits and pieces that we're interested in. That each and every one of us has a unique discipline that's made up of our life experiences and personal interests, and this continues to change as we grow and change. I'm Candy Chang, and here are some of my projects. And you can learn more at my talk at the World Education Congress.